u slash pm air hairy pussy us reddit truckers of reddit what spooky things did you witness on the road welcome to autogen labs daily reddit content by robots for the internet i saw a young girl being beaten in the back of her car badly followed them hitting the horn got number plate and rang police but they got away Police called me the next day to say they had investigated and was told the girl was having a medical emergency and was fine. Not a trucker, but I had a college teammate from Miami tell a story that he swears on to this day. He and his girlfriend were making the drive to Naples late night on a two-lane road through the Everglades and had been in a line of cars behind an 18-wheeler for multiple miles. She fell asleep and he was serving for something to listen to on the radio. Only one station came in clearly enough to be tolerable, so he gave it a listen. The DJ came on and said something along the lines of the stars are extra bright in the Everglades tonight. If you're driving through there, pull off and take a look. He said he normally wouldn't even think of it, but for some reason felt compelled to that night. He woke up his girlfriend. She was annoyed and didn't want to, but he convinced her it would be worth it. They stopped and just took in the stars for five minutes, ten minutes. He said it was the most amazing sky he's ever seen. They get back on the road and drive another few minutes and come across a massive accident. The truck they were following had jackknifed and took out a handful of vehicles that were following. He said there are multiple fatalities, but I've never been able to find a new story about it to confirm probably would have been in 2005-ish. They most likely would have been involved if not for that random DJ and the only radio station to come in that night. A trucker I know claims he was driving a logging truck down a remote dirt road in the middle of a forest at around midnight when a dogman creature walked out in the middle of the road. It stared that in for a few seconds plainly visible and well illuminated by all the auxiliary lights on the truck, then it just took off and disappeared into the woods on the other side of the road. He is not a superstitious man and he rejects everything supernatural as fiction, but he 100% believes that what he saw that night was real. I have only heard him talk about this twice. He was very beat both times, he opened up about it. Just talking about it rattled him, he was clearly uncomfortable thinking back about that night. My dad drove a truck between Edinburgh and London and tells the story often. He was driving down the motorway and looked his right, saw a woman with a mistrunchable bun as he describes it staring at him with a terrified expression from a car next to him. Before he really knows how to react, the car pulls off at the next exit and my dad, although shaken, carries on. About half an hour later, a different car with a different driver pulls alongside my dad, with the same woman in the passenger seat, with the same expression on her face. My dad thinks beep this and plans to pull into the next services to report as even if it's nothing slash misunderstanding. Better to be safe than sorry, right? Anyway, the car disappears before he can get any details, plates, etc. And he thinks there is no point calling the police with no details, so he carries on driving. Literally about four hours later, almost in London, yet another car pulls alongside him with the same woman, same mistrunchable hair, same terrified expression, except this time she appears to be screaming at my dad through the window. So my dad pulls over into our lobby and calls the police. Apparently, they have received three other calls about the same woman slash car in the same area in the last few minutes. It is unfortunately anticlimactic as he never heard anything more about it. But he didn't see her again and although he kept an eye on the news, didn't see anything about it. Hopefully it's just a giant coincidence. Who knows? I saw an Audi driver use their indicators. A highway truck with two containers in tow on trailer in high speed and as it turned, one of the containers fell off the trailer crushing a mother and her child, crushed flat, blood, organs and brain matter spat everywhere on the road and sidewalk, all of which transpired right in front of me walking home FRM school. Couldn't get the image out of my head, still extremely afraid of those trucks to date and make beep sure to put sufficient distance between me and the truck whenever I see one passing by. My dad used to drive trucks and he used to tell a story of his scariest time on the road. I'll try to do the story just as dad, so he drove trucks while I was about five and my brother was three. He did so entirely to make money to take care of us, which also means that he needed to be able to actually make it home to his kids at the end of the day. He was driving up the side of a mountain that apparently genuinely resembled one rip right from a Bugs Bunny cartoon. It spiraled up, as these rickety, flimsy metal guardrails that had smart cars been invented, they still would have not prevented even them from vaulting over the thing, let alone a semi. 
It was insane at clock and my dad was super tired, but he wanted to push it so he could get home faster. What happened next woke him right the beat back up, so much so that if I recall correctly, he had to actually take an air break on the side of the road just to collect whatever was left of his sanity. He was. Making his way up the mountain when on his radio he hears what he swore was flying Frenchman, followed by a whole bunch of hooting and hollering. My dad apparently wasn't confused by the exclamation for long as mere seconds later two full-sized, seemingly fully loaded semis came barreling down the mountain, on each side of the road. My dad had to make a quick decision, cliff or rock face. There was hardly a shoulder but it beat almost certainly crashing into the side of the mountain, so he did what he could to avoid them the best that he could and went for the bank. My dad said that he turned the wheel as quickly but carefully as he could toward the extremely narrow embankment on his, did everything he could to avoid skidding, and narrowly avoided the closest beep. He apparently also narrowly avoided jackknife in a truck and the scariest part of all his own semi had tipped during the procedure. All of the wheels on the one side of his truck got air and he was sure he had just hit the truck down a bloody mountain. Also these two assholes could have a beep up game of chicken. So, the scariest thing my dad said he had ever seen while driving a pair of flying Frenchmen. Edit typos and other minor corrections. I wanted to get this posted before it got buried. My wife's grandfather hauled fruit and potatoes across the northwest and central plains. From what he would talk about, I swear he was a serial killer. He had found or been questioned about a half dozen deaths at rest stops. Most, if not all, were determined suicide. He also talked about all the rich women that drove a SUV and how frequently he would see them beep at red lights. I was a real character. Not my story, but my best buddy freshman year was a trucker. His worst story was when he was going down to Georgia, just a normal trip of diapers and baby wipes. He spent a good long day travelling with a man who was carrying a full load of gasoline. The trip was a week there, and my buddy and this gas tanker guy spent the last six hours on the road together, shooting the beep through the radio and whatnot. After nearly a full day of talking, my buddy gets a call from the tanker guy, and my friend says the words ran his blood cold, Hey buddy, my brakes are out. My buddy gets in the radio, lets the other truckers know, they try to cordon off the passengers behind him while police can make their way ahead of him, clearing the road. My buddy loses line of sight as they shut down the freeway, as there is now a very large bomb with no stopping power barreling down a popular freeway. They get the all clear to go ahead, the situation has resolved, and by there, time my buddy gets to the emergency stop section of the freeway, he sees that the entire section is now 50 foot wide greater. Metal and dirt everywhere. But there was not a single injury or casualty save for the brave tanker guy who drove head first towards his death to prevent any others. I had a family member who was a trucker for our fireworks company in the 80s. They regularly had to make deliveries from the east coast to Los Angeles. Shipping these things to California meant many drives through the open desert of the American southwest. They have claimed to see tons of weird stuff out there, from glowing orbs, unexplained lights and weird animals in the dark. The desert has a way of messing with the human mind, but one night a bunch of floating orbs on the horizon turned out to be legit. They saw a bunch of orange orbs crossing the highway a mile or so ahead. It turns out that a bunch of tumbleweeds had caught fire in a forest fire several miles away and were flying across the highway ahead. They had to drive down this open desert highway at night while being on the lookout for flaming tumbleweeds. Not really something you want to manoeuvre around when you're carrying fireworks in your trailer. Not mine, but I totally believe it, and I have heard it told the same way since I was six around 30 years ago. My dad was driving particularly late, returning home after being away for a while. It was around 2 or 3 a.m. when he saw an old lady walking on the side of the road. My father is a kind man, so he naturally pulled over and asked the lady where she needed to go or if she needed help. The lady just turned to him and said, why did you stop? It is not your turn yet, the lady dismisses my dad. Not wanting to make a scene, he leaves her alone and continues driving. Not even five minutes later, down the road he sees a crashed car with an ambulance already at the site. The following day, the crash was front page on a local newspaper. Apparently the driver died instantly on the crash. He still wonders where that lady was going since the closest town was still 30 minutes away by car again. This isn't my story and I omitted locations due to this happening in Mexico, so I felt like it would just be a bunch of weird names no one outside of my country could place, but if anyone has any questions, I could ask my dad for more details. Fair warning, he likes to ham things up, 
some more details and the lady might be shoddy at best. He usually hams up stories to making them more dramatic the more he tells them, except for this one. So that kind of makes me think it's true. Driving into Prescott as late at night, an ambulance passes me. I don't slow down, we're the only vehicles on the road. It's desolate, they weren't going to turn off anywhere. I wasn't in the way. As it's passing, the inside of the ambulance is well lit. I can barely see the patient, but I can clearly see the EMT giving chest compression. Thanks for watching. This has been an Autogen Labs production. That means that this video was created by a robot out of content on Reddit. We show all account names and list them in the description to credit the Redditor community that makes our work possible. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We post new videos every day. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. Our human department for public relations reads all of them, or won't be let out of their cages again. Goodbye.